What is up, world? This is Game Scene in the Room presents the Doctor Walking Dead show. I'm your host, Mr. GB, aka Doctor Walking Dead, and we're playing Friday the Thirteenth on the Xbox One. I have Germ 1985. We've been waiting for this fucking game to come out. It's still glitchy, but fuck it. I decided to buy it, and hopefully, it will get a lot better. But this is my gameplay. Of playing as Jason. So let's get to it. Hope y'all enjoy. Alright. This is this is really my first time playing as Jason. I don't know much about the fucking gameplay or most of the fucking buttons because I kinda jumped into it, but read up on some of the instructions. Kinda sped through it, but anyway. I find out that you can chop wood. I find out that he can't really run. But technically, you can actually run if you pick the right Jason and his uh, versions of him. In that little bottom corner right there, you get to see that I get to like, you know, glide past through. I mean, that's how he gets to one place or another real fucking fast. And look at my dumb ass. Oh, look, I can open the door. But guess who I found? Mr. Germ. Germ, germ, germ. See, I just want to see how, I thought he was going to walk right out the fucking door. Didn't happen. He's running around like a crazy little bitch. Sorry, Germ. <laughs> Didn't mean to call my girl a bitch, but I'm just the cat was running around like a little bitch. That's on me. Anyway, uh, see this this version of him. I forgot which which one I picked, but uh, it, it's it's really see I'm still trying to get a grasp of how to do the finishing, but this one is pretty fucking awesome. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Here's my second time playing as Jason as well. I kind of, you know, got the hang of the fucking controls. Started realizing what the fuck I was using. But I mean, hey, I just, I, I, I play and I learn as I play. I don't like to look up videos or anything like that shit unless, unless I really, really, really must have to. But I mean, I'm an old school gamer. <laughs> fuck it. Now, what you see right there is... I'm picking up fucking damn long ass fucking nails. Now, one thing I didn't realize that I could actually plant traps by holding down on the D-pad. And basically, it basically catches them like a trap for me to be able to go and, you know, get them. But, you know, you learn as you go. And this mother decides to shoot me. And guess who it is? It's in German again. They got stung. So I'm trying to throw one spear, you know, like one of those nails at him, but couldn't pull it off. Couldn't do a cockle do. It's, a, it's still a little glitchy because of the lag. But I mean, I, I underthrew that one. But let's let's uh. Trying to throw shit at him now. Just for the fuck of it. Now, my. There you go, see? You get to teleport. Well, not really teleport, I get to move faster, uh, morph towards him or whatever. Actually, I can actually control that, but as you can see in the next couple of gameplays, I haven't got the hang of it yet. But, if you hold down RB, uh, and I go to the right of it, that's actually, I can teleport to any place on the map. And it's not, I mean, it's really overpowered if you really think about it, but not really in ways because things that uh, you do have a time limit on it, and the, the characters do have a chance to actually fucking fight back if you choose the right one, or uh, you unlock the fucking traits, I guess you could say. Because each one has a better chance of living or a better chance of being undetected. Hunt them down and make them pay. Uh, the bottom 
or be right there actually shows you, reveals where they're at. But like I said, it's only for a certain amount of time. Uh, his, this is a sense, of, sense, I guess you could call it, sensibility. Uh, I'm Asian, I can't speak right. <laughs> that should be no fucking, you know, thing towards Asian people, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I still haven't, I didn't get the, the just of doing the rage mode, because the rage mode is that uh, holding RB up. And you can actually customize all this shit uh, from your customization menu. Now, this is what I mean by they having the glitch. I was trying to throw her through this window, which is already broken, but it's technically already been open, which is crazy. See, she's supposed to get sliced through there and a whole bunch of bloody mess. Anyway. See, he can go fast, but look at this dude. This dude actually timed it correctly and knocked me in my motherfucking head to where that he can actually stun me for a little while. Which is pretty cool, because like I said, they, as, as the characters, you do have a chance to be able to, you know, survive. You can actually, like, you know, do that, hit them off into whether you can be a distraction to whether your team can actually, uh, get, you know, get what they need to get away. See, look, there's a second thing. His luck of surviving is pretty damn well. Because, like I said, you can actually you can unlock all those die. with the points as you level up and put them towards each of the characters. Like I said, there will be a negative and a positive, meaning that you can have one that you can run without being sensed, you know, by Jason senses or whatever. Or you can swim fast and all that shit. Look at this. Dude shot fucking fire flames at my ass. No matter what they do. Pretty fucked up. You, you see how he die. gets it? Try to never die. escape, but look, he can run. See, my ass morphs. And he leads me straight to his fucking team. Man. What a dumbass. Look, he's trying to knock me down, but guess what? Took man. Sorry, you know. But if he waits to fucking hit and swim, go there. Make them suffer like oh, well. Each of these counselors actually has the ability to either run fast, strength, all this type of shit. But they're, but you know, like I said, there's a give and take meaning that if they are fast and they can fight back, their strength is probably, or like, well, their health is probably, I don't know. See. By this time, I had enough of it, and I finally got him to his end, so I was able to do my finish on him real fast, and I said, you know what, let me get this guy. And then look what somebody had pointed out to me, his fucking body flew all the way They deserve to, to die, Jake. That's insane. Now, this person thought that they can hide, because their senses actually didn't show up on my on my thing, which is pretty cool. But guess what? It's not like I couldn't see you hiding in the fucking bushes. What the fuck? Now this is where my call of duty skills come into play. Fucking tomahawk throw. Baka! Now I her back. Fucking back. Oh, baby, sure. Try to do it again. I think I hit the fucking post or something. <laughs> fuck it. I don't care. So. This is what I mean why I didn't know how to control it right off the bat because I could have stopped right there. But I just let it go through because it was like, wee! Anyway. This character's already hurt. She could barely run. She should have just dropped that damn battery. Just because I was already aggravated with the other dude, I said, you know what? You're gonna, you're gonna get the same fucking shooting. I can't hit your arm off. That's what I'm gonna make your fucking head off. Golden time. <laughs> they deserve to die, Jason. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of Friday the 13th. As I play as Jason for the first time, there's going to be a couple more videos coming up soon. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll do a little bit more. But from Germ, I am Miss GB, a.k.a. Dr. Welcome Dead. Thank you for tuning in.
Peace.